So today is literally my final day in the state of California. I'm like driving around right now doing a nostalgia tour, you know, like I visited my old elementary school, my old middle school, my old high school, right? But uh, by the time you're seeing this, I will have moved to Florida. It is the case. And we love to see it. I think many of you guys are very excited to see it. But I'm sure there's also, you know, some people who are really against this whole mentality, right? And I understand the argument, to be completely honest. I think there is something to be said about kind of staying loyal to where, like, you grew up and where you placed your roots down and where, like, your family is kind of from and stuff. Um, and I think there is something to be said about really staying and fighting because, you see what's going on in this state, right? And it's it's not just even at this point the conservative cliche talking points about homelessness and this and that, whatnot. You know, many, let me say, especially here in LA County, many parts of this county don't even feel like America. It, you really do feel like you're in a foreign country, and that's what I'll, I'll say about that, you know. Um, but also, of course, you, you, you see the stuff with, you know, these mandates for the, the COPE thing, right? And it's actually, it was actually kind of disappointing to me because the day I leave Saturday was supposed to be the day of the big anti- you, you know, thing protest um, over at in, in, at uh, L.A. City Hall, right? And that, that actually kind of made me a little bit regretful. I was like, you know, maybe I should have really stayed and, like, put up the fight. But I think ultimately, you know, in the long term, maybe it's a selfish decision. But for myself, yes, there is something to be said about staying and fighting. But I think, you know, long term, this is probably the right decision because it is true. You know, and this is like this is a kind of an interesting debate. Like, should you stay where your roots are, or should, or is it kind of more inherently American to kind of be a pioneer and like just move? You know, and because it's it is something like I would say arguably American to it, right? Even if it's not really traditional in a sense, but I think you know, long term speaking, it's probably for the best. You know. I want to raise a family one day. I want to have a career. I want to be able to kind of live somewhat of a decent life. And Florida is one of the few states, obviously, as we know, left in America that even feels like you're in America, you know. And I really dodged a needle with Florida because obviously, you know, in, in Ron DeSantis is not a perfect governor, but he's by far obviously the best one the Republicans have. And really, by proxy, is basically the role model for most conservative politicians. And he's really, I would say, one of the few governors who is willing to stick up hard, right, against this mandate stuff, against this COPE stuff. You look at actually a lot of colleges in red states, you know, they're going full steam ahead still with mandating the, you know, the thing. Even though you, you have red state governors who could just step in and stop this the way DeSantis basically did in the state of Florida, that's not what you're getting. You got, in, you know, you just heard Indiana University, right? He went to the Supreme Court and Amy Coney Barrett, of course, was Amy Coney Barrett. The other disgrace that that woman is and the other disgrace that supposedly conservative judges are for us, right? But you look at a state like Indiana, again, Republican state, red state, and they're mandating it. You know, I have a friend at LSU who told me they're probably going to mandate it there. Louis, actually, I guess Louisiana has a technically is a Democrat governor. But in a lot of these different places, you're seeing it. You know, you're seeing weak Republican state governors who are not willing to stop it. But I really did dodge a needle there. And I know, I know. All right, listen, listen. If you're out here saying you should stay in California, you should fight, bro. You should, like, fight against the regime or whatever. Okay, first of all. Maybe we'll be back one day. I don't know. Maybe we will be back to lead the epic, and it will be epic, reclamation of California, okay? We will remember what they took from us, and we will take it back one day. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it is the case. But not right now, okay? Not right now. Not right now. We're, uh... I'm a, we're basically refugees right now, okay? And we're going to have to deal with it in the short term. But I would also say to people who kind of make that argument, well, you know, in a way, you're really just coping. You are. You're mad because, you know, you're stuck in California, New York, and it's like you have a career, so you can't just have a family, so you can't just leave. You, frankly, I mean, let's be honest, most of the people saying that are probably coping because, you know, I'm young. I basically haven't gotten my sort of life, quote unquote, started yet. And I have the opportunity. Okay. So deal with it. Own it. But you know, it's like, I, I don't even know if I'm going to end up like living in Florida. You know, it's kind of a place to escape until maybe things get a, like slightly better in this country. Right. Um, but, you know, I, I think about a place like California. It's just like, is this really a place? Not even do I want to raise a family. Can I raise a family in this state? You know, with the utter state of housing costs. 
you, there, there's no escape when it comes to education, you know, I guess without homeschooling, but it's like, even then, a lot of those programs probably are filled to the brim with, you know, the California educational curriculum. The community or whoever, like my, the, the, the neighborhood my kids have to grow up in, unless we are super rich, it, which again is going to be ridiculously expensive, probably won't be safe to be completely honest. Um, and it's just like, and I, by the way, I, I use, I, I genuinely think California used to be, like, because California is such a suburban state, you know, it used to be one of, at least Southern California where I'm from, it used to be a really good place, I think, to raise a family. You know, you got the beach, you got all this stuff to do, you got the nice weather, you have the, actually, the, the, the most of the houses in this neighborhood still have like green, like picket fence style lawns which is kind of a white pill to be honest this is one of the few neighborhoods i'm in right now that hasn't been scathed i mean this is not where i grew up but this was my elementary school um and it's like you know yeah you can call me selfish you can say i'm turning my back on my community but genuinely my future family and my future kind of life is more important to that than me so sorry sorry california okay but you know but yeah long story short Florida mode is imminent. By the time you're seeing this, I'll probably be well into trying to set up at least like a studio or something in my new place in the great state of Florida. Um, I did want to reflect a little bit, I guess, on the experience of California. You know, I I have to say, as bad as it got at sometimes, and as basically as much of a nightmare high school was in many ways for me, being in you know Los Angeles. Okay, um, I do also have to say, I I do kind of cherish a lot of my experience growing up here i mean first of all from a professional basis let me say that living in california growing up here it was it was very nice in the sense that i got to really see you know what's really happening i guess to the country and, and the, the the concept of the american community and what our future really entails under the leadership of the gae right because obviously i think that's the problem that a lot of especially boomers and stuff are kind of more naive to right especially boomers who live in like red states and stuff you know because they never really faced what's really happening and really had to deal with that stuff head on you know they politically that's that's why you see them uh, being a lot more moderate a lot more just not getting it a lot less willing to wield power politically than we are because we see this stuff and we're like holy crap right you know what i mean we're, we're so we're basically radicalized by the utter state of what of where we live right um and so i would say you get, to give california a little bit of credit thank you because without you i i probably would not be nearly as you know, right wing as I am right now, right? I think a lot of basically my drive to really wake up, to really understand it um, comes from being basically forced to look it in the eyes being in California. And I don't think someone who grew up in a state like, I don't know, maybe Texas, because you can kind of see the change. But a lot of these deep red states, that's just not something I think you are able to get. So, yeah, I will also say that California, you know, we're not going to slander the the land that is California. California is a beautiful state. The weather, frankly, is better than Florida. I'm not I'm not going to have some Florida LARP, you know, copers in there. And quite frankly, you know, if I if it were really like the old California, if it were the California of the 1960s, you know, the early 60s, that's kind of like guess the, the very peak of California and all the way up until like the 90s, you know, if it were that California, I, I don't think I could ever bring myself to ever say I would end up leaving, you know. I think as a place, not necessarily, you know, politics, the the, the changing, um, how do I say, demographics, you know, of, of, of the place. But like all that aside, if you would just kind of put California in a bubble, I, I, I would never want to leave. It's a beautiful state. I used to take a lot of pride growing up here, you know, until I kind of broke my naivety and realized that the California dream is dead. But that's why I say like, you know, maybe one day we'll be back back to reclaim this because, you know... This is something John says, but it's true. They basically robbed, you know, us of the most beautiful state in our country. And at some point, if we are really to retake the country, we have to retake California. We have to. Not even so much New York, which is ugly and congested and terrible, but California. So anyways, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I'm basically just rambling in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully this video is watchable, to be completely honest. I don't know. I just, I was just sitting here looking at my old elementary school and I was like, you know, let's, let's have some nostalgia. Let's reminisce. 
Um, but yeah, content will be out soon, you guys. We'll be in Florida. Um, obviously, it might take a few days to kind of get acclimated, but I'll hopefully do some live streams and stuff. I, I don't want to, like, take a huge leave of absence because I feel like this channel has a lot of momentum right now. I don't really want to, like, kill that by, like, just stopping it all, right? So we will be... Stuff will be out as soon as possible. We will attempt. And, um... It's a little bittersweet, you know? I'm never, I mean, I'm going to miss family. I'm going to miss the people I know here. Although, to be honest, I do know a lot of people down in Florida, too. But, but you know... Um, all 18 years of my life. Same house. Same neighborhood. Now this is on to something totally new. But let's do it. Alright, let's do it. Florida mode is imminent. It is right in time for Asian boy autumn. Let's go. All right, let's go. Okay. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you very much to everyone who has supported this channel. And um, we're just getting started. Florida mode is imminent. Let's go.